It is estimated that the average depth of the world's oceans is 12,100 feet, or 2.3 miles, that these bodies of water encompass over three quarters of the planet. However, there are areas where the ocean floor drops to incredible depths. Located to the north of the island from which it takes its name, the Puerto Rico Trench drops more than 27,000 feet below sea level in the Atlantic Ocean. The Java Trench, located about 2,000 miles from the coast of Sumatra and reaching the depths of about 24,000 feet, is the deepest in the Indian Ocean. But the Pacific Ocean has the deepest water on Earth. The deepest point on Earth is located about 125 miles east of the Mariana Islands, a U.S. territory north of Guam. About 1,500 miles long and 43 miles wide, the Mariana Trench is a depression on the floor of the Western Pacific. In this video, we will explore the deepest ocean parts for all the creatures living there. Stay with us till the end to find out how these creatures are living in some really extreme conditions. The ocean floor is so far below the surface that it might as well be another planet. As soon as you get below 7 miles of water, your bones start to dissolve. Some form of life does, nevertheless, persist. Adaptations to extreme pressure, a thousand times that of sea level, have been essential for the survival of animals at these depths. At such a depth, the ocean floor is devoid of vegetation. Neither oxygen nor light can reach the deepest parts of the water, making it impossible for plants to survive there. In what ways do the ocean's deepest abysses play host to life? These mysterious regions are home to animals whose behavior we have never witnessed. And because we don't know very much about what is beneath the waves, we make up stories about sea monsters like the Kraken and the Loch Ness Monster. There are, however, monster-like organisms that dwell thousands of feet below the surface and have evolved incredibly cool, and in some cases, terrifying physical traits to survive their difficult environment over millions of years. To find out more about these creatures, we take a dive into the deepest parts of the ocean to see what lives there and bring you some interesting facts about them to you. Anglerfish The majority of anglerfish species inhabit the Atlantic and Antarctic oceans, often more than a mile below the surface. Most of these carnivores are about a foot long but they can go up to three feet long. Anglerfish seem like they were plucked from the depths of a horror movie with their enormous brains, gaping maws, and pointed teeth. The appendage that explains the anglerfish's moniker is only present in females. They use the protruding portion of their spine above their mouth as a fishing rod. The bioluminescent bacteria at the very tip light up as the anglerfish wiggles its way to lure prey. Chambered Nautilus. The Nautilus is most at home in the oceanic trenches of the Western Pacific, American Samoa, and the coastal Indian Ocean. The Nautilus spends its days in the water as deep as 2,000 feet, but at night it comes up to the surface to feast on hermit crabs and fish. This beautiful chambered Nautilus is a cephalopod, like the octopus and the squid. This means that its feet, in this case tentacles, are attached to its head. The Nautilus has poor eyesight because its primitive eyes lack lenses. They operate more like a pinhole camera. Its shell, which is brown and white with chambers called camera, is armored. Only the largest, outermost chamber is open, and that's where the animal with up to 90 tentacles is kept safely hidden. In order to maintain this position, the Nautilus pumps gas into its 30 or more inner camerae, or it fills the chambers with liquid before diving. About 4.5 billion years ago, nautiluses initially appeared and haven't evolved much since then. Deep Sea Dragonfish Large, sharp teeth and an ugly face give this fish a bad reputation, leading some to believe it is dangerous. Its body is covered in smooth, eel-like skin rather than scales. Lengthwise, it measures around 6 inches, and it prefers the dark, cold depths of the ocean around 6,000 feet down. 
To top it all off, their bodies emit a luminous glow that serves as both a mean of communication with other fish and a form of concealment from both prey and predators. Mariana Hadal, Snailfish In the Mariana Trench, Pseudolopera suere, also known as the Mariana Hadal snailfish, has been observed at depths as great as 26,831 feet, which is more than five miles below the surface. The fish gets its name from its natural environment, which is known as the Hadal Zone. Although these fish might look like adorable tadpoles, they are actually the most dangerous predators in their natural environment. In comparison to their ancestors that live in shallower water, they have developed the muscles that are less dense, stomachs, livers, and eggs that are larger, and bones that are made of cartilage that are more flexible. According to the estimates of scientists, the pressure that these fish can endure is comparable to that of having the Eiffel Tower balanced on someone's big toe. Common Fangtooth The typical fangtooth lives at depths of over 16,000 feet in the ocean. Though often found in warmer climates, scientists have discovered these fish as far north as the subarctic. The fangtooth, for all its fearsome appearance, is only about 7 inches long. The length of its teeth, however, prevent it from closing its mouth. There is still a lot we don't know about this fish. It has been hypothesized by some researchers that the fangtooth is a furious hunter who actively hunts out its food. Alternatively, it has been suggested that these creatures, like many others found in the deep sea, are ambush predators. They don't even bother to use those teeth to chew their prey before swallowing it whole. Viperfish. The ugly viperfish can be found at depths of the ocean up to 9,000 feet, both in the tropics and the temperate zones. During the day, it prefers to remain at the depth of roughly 5,000 feet. It comes up to the surface at night to hunt in the shallower water. Another predatory fish from the depths, this one has a huge mouth, a massive lower jaw, and teeth that look like fangs. Viperfish, like anglerfishes, use light-emitting organs they suspend near their body to lure in prey. If that doesn't work, these swift swimmers will rush their prey and impale them with teeth so long that they can't fit in their mouth. This fish, which averages a foot in length, can be found in a rainbow of colors. Northern Wolffish Wolffish of the north are most at home in the frigid waters of the North Atlantic, between 328 and 5,500 feet below the surface. Their blood contains a special component that prevents it from freezing in the cold. Foraging on hard-bodied prey like sea urchins, crabs, and snails, Atlantic wolfish have an eel-like body, massive teeth, big heads, and powerful jaws. They are similar to eels in that they like to hide in shady places, such as seaweed beds and rock crevices. One of these single fish can reach 5 feet in length and 40 pounds in weight. Wolffish can be any number of colors. If you happen to see one or catch one while fishing, be careful. They have terrible bites. Oarfish Some of these elongated fish can be found as deep as 3,280 feet below the surface. Stories of sea serpents based on oarfish have been told for centuries. The world record bony fish is up to 56 feet long and can weigh up to 600 pounds. Although some people engage in trophy fishing for them, these fish are not sought after for their gelatinous meat. They don't have scales, rather guanine covered tubercles. As soon as they reach the surface, their skin becomes fragile and easily damaged. Dinner plate jellyfish. This dinner plate jelly lives in the deep, murky waters between 2,300 and 3,300 feet below the ocean surface. Surprisingly, they don't hang around for food, but instead actively pursue the zooplankton and other jellyfish that it consumes. No other cnidarians exhibit this peculiar habit. They were seen recently 
and the Musician Sea Mounts, a range of underwater mountains located north of the main Hawaiian Islands. The region had previously gotten little to no scientific attention. It was the first record of numerous species and characteristics of marine life, including some previously unknown jellyfish. These were some facts about the creatures that live in the deepest part of the oceans. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a comment below and tell us which one was your favorite. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, subscribe so that you never miss a video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.